Region 8 News starts right now. A young man in Region 8 without a pulse, but an incredible story. Destiny Quinn joins us now live with the details. Destiny. Amanda, Shadarius Johnson lives his life tethered to a power source after becoming the first and only recipient of an artificial heart in the state of Arkansas. Yeah, I was 19, I'm, like, I'm too young for this, and I wasn't ready to die. Shadarius Johnson was like most 19-year-olds. I was playing basketball. Or so he thought. And I was dribbling, and I was trying to tell the coach to call time out. And then when he called time out, next thing I know, I was in the hospital. He had a, what we, you would call a sudden death episode, so he basically was playing basketball and, and had a heart rhythm problem that uh, basically died on the basketball court, but luckily some people were there to resuscitate him. A near-death experience at 19 was only the beginning of Shadarius's medical problems. They told me I had congestive heart failure. Hoping to save his life, doctors installed a pacemaker. From 2013 to 2015, the pacemaker was shocking me. Everything he told me not to do, not go play basketball, not to get overheat, not to be overwhelmed. But the pacemaker was not the answer. I had called, I got a bad little cough, and that made fluid go in my heart. I just felt it, and I called the doctor and said, I'm on my way, I got fluid on my heart. Numerous tests and surgeries would consume the following months. My kidney failed, I think it was my kidney, my liver, and my heart, it just happened out the blue. Doctors said he needed ECMO, or extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, basically life support enough to keep him alive until a heart donor could be found. We had already used uh, the ECMO for 30 days, which is really extending what you normally use that for as far as length of time. But time ran out. Dr. John Ransom, surgical director at the Baptist Health Heart Failure and Transplant Institute, had to act fast. Then our only other option without a donor heart for transplant was going to a total artificial heart. I said, Doc, do what you have to do in order for me to live. Dr. Ransom was no stranger to implanting mechanical support devices. The team at Baptist Health has installed hundreds of these heart mates, which is a type of LVAD. We have a total artificial heart We have uh, that supports both sides of the heart. Uh, we have uh, LVADs, or left ventricular assist device, that support just the left side of the heart, which most of the time is adequate. And then we have temporary devices that uh, work for 30 days or less, usually that will support one or both sides of the heart. This was Dr. Ransom's first installation of a total artificial heart. If Doc messed up, I can die. And it was the first and only one in the state of Arkansas. And Dr. Ransom, like, he was ready. He was ready to go. And I told Doc, I said, Doc, just put me to sleep, do what you gotta do, and wake me up. He's going to take care of me. Like, he'll take care of me. On April 18th of 2017, a groundbreaking surgery began. After two days of surgery, Shadarius received a battery-operated device containing the same components as a real human heart. I'm alive. Like, I cried because I'm alive. Like, I don't know how, I don't know how long I was asleep. I don't know how long it took him to do the surgery. The challenge now was for Shadarius to recover. I started doing therapy. Now this was the hardest part because now you gotta learn to walk again. When you gotta learn everything over how to make up a bed, how to get out of a bed, how to walk upstairs, how to get in a car, how to do everything. Shadarius is now completely reliant on the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart. If this device stops, he has no blood flow. Without this, a matter of seconds, so he, he wouldn't be alive. The device is connected through his stomach, through tubes. He carries this backpack with him everywhere. There's alarms and ways that can diagnose if something's going wrong with the power source, and then he gives him uh, an alert to do something. And while the device is keeping Shadarius alive, for now, he still needs a heart transplant. The sooner the better because this is, uh, you know, he's had it for over a year and a half now. The Lord gonna bless me one day. And when that day comes, the Lord knows I will be on that highway going to Little Rock. 
Shadaria still awaits that heart, along with 115,000 other people waiting for a life-saving transplant. He wants everybody to know that by signing up to become an organ donor, you could literally save a life. Live in the studio, Destiny Quinn, Region 8 News.